Today I'm going to show you how to set up the board in SteamVR exactly how I have it in my videos. So the first thing you're going to need is obviously SteamVR and board. If you don't have those, install those. What are, you, what are you doing? And after that, the next thing you're going to need to do is go into Steam and download Desktop Plus. So just search Desktop Plus. And then you go down right here. It's completely free. Uh, just download that and get that ready. The next thing you're going to need to download is OpenVR2 key. Now this is not on Steam, so I'll have a link to it in the description. This is a link to a GitHub where you can download the software for free. So to download it, download the zip right there. I already have it downloaded. Once it's downloaded, you want to go and extract it. So you right click, click extract all, and extract, and then I already have it extracted. So once you have it extracted, you want to go back to Steam, and you want to click on add a game here at the bottom left. And after that, click add a non-Steam game. Then once it's done, click browse, and go to wherever you downloaded. I had it downloaded. Downloads. So you click on this and click on the exe, then add selected programs. And once you have it installed, you want to click right click on it and go to properties. Then make sure you include it in your VR library. And the next thing you want to do is start Steam VR. All right, then after Steam VR is fully up and running, you're going to want to open the Open VR 2 key. It should appear here like this. Then you want to go into Steam, uh, click on this thing, whatever this thing is called. Go to settings, go to startup, shut down, click choose startup overlay apps. And you want to make sure. OpenVR2 key and Desktop Plus are on startup instantly. That way you don't have to mess with them, they just work. Next, to send the smart board audio into any VR game, go to the audio tab in Steam VR settings, change audio input device from headset to manual, and change this to cable output. Then in the smart board, go into the audio tab, and then you want to set your headphones to whatever headphones your uh, VR headset is using. So if you're using the Valve Index, you want to set the Valve Index speakers. And for me, I'm using the Big Screen Beyond, so that I would choose the speakers Beyond Audio Strap. In your microphone, you want to pick your headset microphone, which for me is the microphone beyond, but if you're probably using a Valve Index or something like that, you set this microphone to whatever microphone your headset uses. All right, now I want you to get the smart board on your arm just like this. So you're going to want to open your Steam menu and then go over to Desktop Plus. It should be here right next to your desktop things. And uh, this will all be empty for you. I have three desktops here just to make sure my recording software and stuff is working. But what you want to do is click on Add Overlay, and then you have two different options you can do. You can do Window, and you can select um, the smart board directly, or you can pick Desktop. If you have extra monitors like me, it's better to have the smart board on its own dedicated monitor. Using Windowed Mode can cause issues. For example, if I make a Window Overlay, it's like the smart board, and I try to open up settings on it, you can see I can't see it, which is confusing because I can't click. And that's just because window mode is only selecting the smart board window. It's not selecting the settings window that opens up. So you can't adjust settings or anything using window mode. So I recommend using desktop mode. But if you don't have any extra monitors, just get everything set up beforehand and window mode will work. So it's up to you. I'm just going to use desktop for this tutorial. Then just get it lined up physically where you want it to be with your arm. I want it to be like about there. It's like I usually put more like on my elbow. Then you select the plus, select the overlay, whichever one you're using. Click properties, and then you want to change it the origin from play area. It's kind of hard to see, but to left controller, and that'll be attached to your controller, or you can use right controller if you're using that. Then from here, you can just change the size. Don't use the um, drag mode because that detaches it from your arm. Then you go position. You can just change it. So yeah, it's sim super simple. You should be able to play sounds on it. Uh, you will notice if you close the Steam menu, you can't play any sounds on it. But that's just something of Desktop Plus. When you open up any game, it works. Then I don't know why they would disable it now, but they did. So also personally, there are some things that suck about this. For example, when you set up keybinds, you can set them up to show in a toggle monitors, but it's just one click, which is kind of annoying. So Access Overlay has some stuff like double clicks, that kind of stuff. I recommend using Access Overlay, but it costs money. This one's free. So if you want to use a free version, this works just fine, and I'll show you how to set up the keybinds now. All right, so go back to your desktop with SteamVR open, and make sure you grab your controllers. I'm using the Knuckles controllers for this. So next to open OpenVR2 key, you should click on the show hidden icons down here, and you should see it here. You can click on to open it. If it's not in here, that means you need to go into Steam and just run it, but just a glitch with it where it doesn't say it's running even though it is. So you'll see it uses a uh, key L1, L2. Each of these correlate to a button. So to figure out which button it is, just press the button on the controller. And you'll see it appear here. And there are some glitches with the application. Sometimes it'll say active input blocked here, and you just gotta press some buttons to control it until eventually it'll start working. So you can literally bind anything you want to it. So you just find for so my I use the uh, right controller B to stop all sounds, and that is R13. So I would find R13 in this list here. And then I like to use Q. So you click on it, and so you press your keyboard, whatever key you want to use. You click again, and now it's set to that. So anytime you press this button, I can show it here on notes. So anytime I'm pressing a button on my controller, you can see it brings it up here. So you can use that in the smart board to bind, bind sound effects and stuff. Or you can use it for the stop all sounds, which is what I use this one for. So, so yeah, it's pretty simple to use. This isn't my application, so there are a few bugs. For the most part, it works pretty well. Uh, every once in a while, you have to just restart it, but it's pretty good. All right, so that's everything you need to know. You should have the smart board attached on your arm. You can click into it and play sounds. And with the press of a button, you can stop all sounds. It's really simple. It's all you need to know. So have fun. 